Greetings to all. Let us thank God. Dear children, today's topic is the poem of adventure. Let us know about the poet. George Krakos was born on 13th June 1951 in Samos, Greece. He has written quite a number of poems inspired by nature, science, philosophy and the spiritual aspects of life. He has practiced various forms of yoga and meditation. Let us enter into the poem of adventure. Adventure is an unusual, exciting and daring deed. This is a poem of unusual, exciting and daring deeds. There are nine stanzas in the poem. In this poem, the poet George Krokos relates to the adventures of the knights. The poem of adventure. Deep inside the mountain, the adventures hide themselves. They are all forms and shapes. They all have an excellent ending. Because those that live their lives in adventure, See the world in an extraordinary special way. This stanza means adventures are hidden deep inside the mountains in all types of forms and shapes. The adventures have an excellent ending. People who take up adventures in their life see the world in an extraordinary special way. To attract the adventures into the patterns of habit, you only need to close your eyes and ask them to embrace you. You can also imagine that you are transparent and feel the wind stream through you instead of going against you. I imagine there are tiny little wings on your back and every time you take a new step you bounce a bit this stanza means to attract the adventures into the patterns of habit we have to do two things first we have to imagine that we are clear in mind and feel the wind passing through us instead of going against us. Next, we have to feel that we have little wings on our back and whenever we take a new step, we bounce in joy. Bounce means jump. Maybe life itself is one big adventure if only you have the correct shades on. Back in the days of old, when knights were bold, who with a sword or lance in armor shout romance. In this stanza, the poet speaks about knights. A knight is a soldier of high level who fought on a horse in the Middle Ages. A knight is bold and daring. He rides on a horse with a sword to seek romance. It was the age of chivalry long ago in man's history when to fight for a righteous horse one did gain a considerable applause. This stanza means long ago during all age of chivalry knights used to fight for a righteous cause that means noble cause or good reasons and they got applause for their deeds. Applause means 
surprise. It was mainly for show, love and glory. They deemed themselves being worthy to capture the heart of some fair maiden, which was the most desired prize laden. Oh, they would strike heavy blows on all of their opponents and foes in a one-to-one -one compact defying death. As crowds watched with abated breath, The knights did these acts mainly for a show, love and fame. They regarded themselves as worthy to get the hand of a fair lady. Deemed, regarded, laden, loaded. The knights hit heavy blows on their opponents and enemies. They challenged the opponents for one to one fight. They never bother about death. The crowd watched them fight. The meaning of abated is unpleasant. Yes, it was far back in those days of old that courage and strength came to the fore. But there was this life and death struggle such issues at hand the knights would juggle. This stanza means it was long back in those days courage and strength were given importance first. There was a struggle between life and death. Such issues were handled bravely by the knights. And in fighting for the country, Faith and King, noble impressions on people's minds would bring that even through the ages of held in high esteem, those knights in shining armor do now all seem. When the knights fight for the country, good impressions are felt in every person's mind. These impressions are held in high esteem through ages. These nights are even seen remembered now in shining armor. There are many legends based on the heroic exploit, a legacy of the days which have been told with much adroit, highlighting aspects of human wisdom related to virtue and vice, and the lessons to be learned are those of goodness and sacrifice. There are many stories based on their heroic deeds. The people tell these stories of the knights by highlighting the aspects of human wisdom related to virtue and voice. The lessons learned are those of goodness and sacrifice. History usually repeats itself time and again. As it often happens, a situation comes when we are asked to do something for a just cause and acting with jewelry we shouldn't pause. The last stanza means that our history usually repeats itself all the time as it often happens. We should never stop to do deeds of adventure when the opportunity comes. Like the knights, we should also fight for good so that we can get good applause from the people. Let us know the meaning of some words. Lance, a long weapon with a wooden shaft and a pointed steel head, formerly used by a horseman in charging. Second one, chivalry, the medieval knightly system with its religious, moral, and social code. Abated, 
unpleasant impressions feelings exploits adventure adroit clever or skillful my dear children let us recall the poem of adventure written by george crocus in this poem the poet speaks about the adventures of knights in the olden days knights were daring and bold they rode on the horse with a sword and fought the opponents for a noble cause likewise we also should fight for a noble cause then only we can get a good applause from the people dear children i hope that you have understood the concept of the poem dear children today's homework is read the poem the poem of adventure good luck thank you